Hello and welcome to this video where we will set up the NAT type 2 on your PS5 and typically you just want to go in and port forwarding inside your router but just so you don't make the same mistake as I did because I was sitting and I used hours on trying to configure my router and port forwarding and watching a lot of video and text tutorials then the first step you really want to look into is that if port forwarding is enabled at your internet provider because you can really go and set up port forwarding perfect inside your router but it's still not working and that might be because your internet provider hasn't enabled it by default so the way you can try to figure it out is to go to google and then type your internet provider's name and in my case it's called hyper it is uh, in Denmark I have my internet connection and then just type port forwarding afterwards and then actually the first search result was a guide to port forwarding and when you go and read it they actually say that you should have a dynamic or a static IP address to actually being able to port forwarding but in this case they by default give you a CG NAT connection so I had to send an email to Hyper where I just said that I want to be able to port forward so I want a dynamic IP address and the next day it was enabled I know this is Danish but you really don't have to understand it you, you just have to go to your own internet provider and try to look up port forwarding and when you know it is enabled and you're 100% sure that you can port forwarding then you can go into your router and the way you do it is by going to open a new tab and then we want to type in the IP address for your router and the way you find your IP address is you can either go and look behind your router it should be there should be a label on your router that say which IP address it have but if it doesn't uh, you can go into the command line so you can really just go and hit the windows key and say cmd and then go and open the command prompt and even though it look very advanced it is not so advanced because the only thing you have to do here is type ip config and then hit enter and it can look a little bit complicated but the only thing you have to look at is the default gateway and it's not this address but it's actually this address and for most home networks or local networks this will be the default gateway which is the router's IP address so you do want to go and type this into your browser and now you can see when I do it this is the login page for my Sixel I don't even know how to pronounce it but my Sixel router there is a big chance that you have another router but then it will just look a little bit different you should still be able to log in and again the username and password if you haven't changed it before then it should also just be labeled on your physical router in my case it's called admin and I will just go and type my password so now that I am in my router it will look very different on your router if you have another brand of router but the thing we have to go through is basically the same so you should have a menu of some kind in my case it's this hamburger menu and the first thing we need to enable is something called the UPnP as I understand it it should help you to actually just automate the port forwarding but to be 100% sure we will just go and enable it and then port forwarding the ports that we need to open for the PS5 and to find the UPnP you really just need to go and look around everywhere in your router if it doesn't exactly say UPnP I think in my router it is a little bit tricky to find it is under the network settings and then the home networking but you can really just go and open everything to see if you can find it so as you can see here I have a menu more here and it's called UPnP and because I have already set this up then we actually just go and enable this one so set this UPnP to active and as you can read here it is called the universal plug and play and it actually says that a UPnP device can dynamically join a network obtain an IP address, advertise its services, and learn about other devices on the network. A device can also leave a network automatically when it's no longer in use. So you can really just go and enable this and then try to see if you already have the NAT type 2 on your PS5. And if you don't have, then let's go and 
actually set up the port forwarding. So again, I'll go to my menu, network settings, and it's called NAT. And as you can see here, I have a lot of rules already in my port forwarding because I already set it up. The first five lines here is just because I want to play a game on my PC with the NAT type 2. But the next one is the PS5 here. And I have to set up seven records here or seven new rules. And don't worry, I will show you how I set them up. So if we just start with the first one here, then you can see this PS5 one is actually just a name I gave it. It's just the service name. And it was just to keep track of how many rules I have applied to my list here. Then we want the server IP address. And that is actually the IP address of your PS5. So right now I just found some images on the internet. And what you need to do is to go to your PS5 and then go to the settings icon up in the right corner. And then you need to go to network. And then instead of going to this test internet connection, you should be able to go to the view connection status. And in here, this is in Spanish, I think, but you really just want to go and look for the IPv4 address. And it's this one where you have your PS5's IP address. So back to the records here, you can see my IP address was this one and it will be different on your network. So don't go and use this. You need to make sure you have the right IP address. And then we actually just need to go and say which ports we want to target. So in this case, we have the 80 port and it should be a TCP protocol that we use for this port. So if I just go in and say add new rule here, you can see that we have a form where we can go and make the new rules. So in this case, I actually just said PS5. And then in, in this case, it was one. Then we have a start and end port, but it really doesn't matter. We just target one port at a time. So we say 80, just click at the side here. You will also get the translation start port to 80. And if you don't have this on your router, it might just be a little bit more simple layout that you have. So don't worry about that. If you just have a start port and an end port, and because we just want to target the 80 port here, we just need to type it in both. Then we need to go and say which IP address was it. And for my PS5, it was this one. And then you can see the protocol here should be TCP. And a crucial thing before you say OK is to actually go and make it active up here, else it will not work. So if you have a active button in your form, remember to tap it. And then you can just go and say OK. But in my case, I'll just go and say cancel because I already have it. And you actually would need to go and make this step for this port and 443, 465, 993. And then when you come to these numbers, it's actually a little bit different because you can say, see that the protocol is called all. And basically what that means in my router is that the TCP and UDP is both in here. So when it comes to this protocol, you need to say all. And if we just go in and look at it again, you can see in my router, for example, you cannot first make a TCP and then a UDP because then it will say that the port is already in use. So you just need to say both TCP and UDP when it comes to these two ports. And it was the this one and this one. And the last one should just be TCP. But remember, all this doesn't matter if you don't know if your internet provider actually have enabled port forwarding. So you can really go and hurt your brain just by doing all this over and over again, and you don't know why it's working, but go and check with your internet provider. So I hope you get it to work and your PS5 will run on NAT type 2. All this worked for me. And I can say it was a big change when playing online on the PS5. When I have NAT Type 3, it was difficult to connect to games and it lagged a lot in games. But now after I got to NAT Type 2, it runs so smooth and there's no problem connecting to the online games. But thank you for watching and go and have a nice day. Bye.